Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a dot journey and we'll show you guys how to remove or how to replace the third roll seat seat belt. So, stay with us, guys. That's what we'll be doing today. Third roll seat uh, seat belt will be replaced today. In the meantime, guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car, so please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Uh, this is the belt that we're talking about. We'll need to do quite a bit of disassembly here. You will see why. And, uh, in the meantime, again guys, we have more than 200 videos on this car, so please subscribe if you need help with anything, just don't hesitate to drop a comment below, and we'll try our best to make a video for your problem, so let's go ahead and start on it now. All the tools and parts that we use will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So what do we need to do now? Okay, we need to lay the seat down. While we do that now, we need to get a... Okay, a plastic tool like that, a uh, clip removal tool. Okay, and with this tool now, we'll need to remove four clips, guys, uh, on every seat now. Okay, every seat half has four clips. So, what do we do? Okay, right here we go underneath. You need to get under the clip. You have to be careful not to break that clip, so get it good and just pull them up. Those are replaceable, and uh, we'll show you where we get our clips from, you can check out again in the description of the video below. So this one comes up like that. Now we need to come on this side, do the same thing here for this seat half. Okay, perfect. Just leave them like that. Open your storage box here. And now we have four. Okay, four nuts that we need to remove. You have plastic caps on each one of them. Remove the plastic caps and underneath you have four nuts. Those are with 10 millimeter socket. Perfect. Two more on this side. Okay, great. Now, we can go ahead okay, and pull that storage box up. Okay, pull it up from all four bolts at the same time. You'll be a little bit stuck here. And you can see the storage box okay, will come out like that. That's what it looks like without it now. Now we need to lift those seats up. Okay, all the way like that. After that, we need to go inside. We need to get a big screwdriver like this one here. There are two clips that we need to release. Okay, ours are already done. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to push it all the way in. You just get it with the screwdriver. Okay, and it comes out. One clip here on this side, one on the other side. Now lift the seat back and up at the same time. Okay, and it's going to come out. So you go back, okay, all the way back and then up. And I'm going to show you where it needs to come out of. Let me show you on this side. Okay, if I open that thing, okay, that's where the hook is for the seat right here. Okay, so right now it's going to come out. Oh okay, guys, and the bottom seat came out like that. So now we need to get 18 millimeter socket. Okay, and we'll need to remove a few nuts and bolts. That's, uh, that's what we'll be doing now. You can see one here, one nut, one bolt, one bolt, one nut. Deeper socket will work better. So we'll get the big twos now in action. Okay, and we'll do all four now. Oh, 
Okay, this one. Drop the. We we'll need to drop the socket a little bit because we need to find deeper socket, but we do not have one at a time. And all we have to do get them loose now. Now we need to lift the seats up, okay, and we need to go towards the front side because we have a few more bolts here now. Okay, you can check it out now. So we have four more on the front side. I thought we were almost done, but no, we are not. Those are bolts, there is no nuts on this side. Okay, perfect. We got them loose, so now we can use the little impact. Those are usually pretty, pretty tight. Okay, the seat is getting really loose now. Later when you install you need to remember that the belt goes on top, of, on top of the seat so do not confuse those and we should be able to go ahead and uh, pull the seat out now. Okay so now we, you, we just need to grab one seat at a time. Okay we need to lift up and go out like that. You can see this is the first seat. You need to lift it up because remember one of, there is one bolt on that side that keeps the seat up okay just like that perfect so why we needed to remove the seats now okay you can see because we need to remove that panel out of the way you can just release the belt with one bolt but you need to remove the seats because that panel needs to come out so we can get to the belt next we need to remove that cover here there is a few clips okay so we can remove the side panels Okay, let us show you. One, two, three, four, five, six clips. That's where they go. And this thing is out of the way now. After that, open those caps there. And there is a fuel screwdriver. Screw there that we need to remove. Okay. This one is out. Just leave it here for later. Uh, after that, we have one more. Okay, on this side here. The same thing now. If you guys want to see any specific video, just let us know, drop a comment, and we'll do our best to make that video for your problem. Okay, perfect. Now we need to remove okay, these round things. That's for the cargo net usually. One here, one on this side. Okay, just like that. 
I don't even think you need to remove this one. We'll double check when we remove it and let you know for sure. That's why it's a good thing guys to watch the video until the end so you know what's happening and you don't have to run into the same problems that we do. Okay, we install this one and see if we can remove it that way. Okay, so now we can go ahead and pull that cover. Okay, let's see, we will start pulling a little bit and see if it's going to come out of here or we need to pry a little bit here and there. Now we will need to remove the top cover here as well. Okay, there, there will be quite a bit of disassembly, I'm telling you. Uh, if you know an easier way, let us know, but it seems like... Okay, you have to be careful here. We have a back. Airbag here, that's a side airbag. So we have to be extremely, extremely careful. And now we have one more clip on this side here. Okay, just like that. We will leave it like that now. Now, what I would recommend, to have your battery disconnected at least one hour before you start working here because you will be really close to the side airbags. So now, okay, we have two small caps that we need to remove there. Okay, do not lose them. And uh, in the caps now, we have two more screws one per each hole with a few of screwdriver we believe nope it's a torx actually it's a torx okay so we'll need to get torx 25 start looking big and get this one loose now so you can see it's taking a while to do all that stuff Okay, you can kind of see the bolt through the hole here. So it looks like it just needs a little bit more. It's still holding a little bit. Okay, now it's loose all the way. It came out. Let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, this is this is the bolt. We have one more on this side here so let's see okay this one is sideways going like that with the torques actually it's a little bit you can see in an angle It looks like the other one is actually a Torx 20 in our case, 20, and remember the previous one was 25, don't know why. So we'll remove this one in the meantime, okay we need to remove later that cap here, because there is one bolt that we'll need to remove as well. So with the plastic panel removal too. Okay, we'll see how we can pop that thing open now. Okay, there is it's just a clip inside, so you can actually use this one here. So there are two clips on the back side. Once we remove it, I'll show you. Okay, one is out, the other one as well. So Okay, check it out, those are the clips that you need to pry right here, and it comes out. So we'll need Torx 50 now socket. Okay, this one got loose, perfect. Let's see if it's gonna go with a little impact now.
Because usually you have blue thread locker, so you need to apply some when you put it together. So now we will gently need to pull that thing out. Right here there should be one clip holding. Okay, perfect. Okay, look at all the dust that came out. Okay, great. Okay, now there is one cap right there that says SRS airbag. And under that cap, guys, there is one more screw there with that Torx 20, the little bit that we used earlier. So no matter which belt you need to replace, second row or third row, you need to do all that disassembly. Or uh, if, you, if you need to replace speakers, again, you need to do that disassembly. Perfect. Now, we'll go ahead. You have to be careful again around the airbag. This guy has probably a couple clips on the bottom side. Next with the panel removal tool, we need to go ahead and pop that piece open because it goes under that panel, you can see. And later we need to pry this one out. Okay, like that. Okay, let's see where else we have a few clips probably holding here and there. Right here, there is one cap, okay. That we're going to try to remove. Yeah, okay, perfect. And under this cap, there is one more screw with a few oops, screwdriver now. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that screw now. Okay, it looks like right here we have a clip holding somewhere. Okay, perfect. This one came out. You have to be extremely careful because you still have your uh, cigarette lighter attached there. Okay, now we have to be careful here. Okay, like that. So you can pull that thing to the side now. Okay, like that. And we need to disconnect the wire for the cigarette lighter for the 12 volt outlet on the back side. Okay, this is it there. Just press in and pull it out. It might be a little bit stuck. Okay, just like that. Get ready to detail your car once you're done, guys. And the panel came out. So now the third row seat belt, okay, it's right here, as you can see. All we have to do now, okay, we need to remove one bolt there with a 10 millimeter socket, little bolt, then we have one big one. Okay, with the Torx 50 here. And this one is super, super tight again. So we need to get the big tools in action again. They have thread lockers, so every time you remove them, you need to install thread locker on the bolts. Even some bolts, people and service manuals recommend to replace them.
Okay, it's almost almost out. I'm telling you this thing is so much thread locker. It'll give you the workout that you were trying to avoid. Hold it now so it doesn't drop. Okay, you can see all the thread locker here. Pull up guys and this is your third road seat belt out of the car like that. So that's how you guys replace it. Installation, everything needs to go in reverse order that we took it apart. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you. Save you some headache, some money as well. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and see you guys next time.